Okay guys, today we are having another Easter theme day at Walt Disney World. So for a little bit of context, I'm with my parents today. They are actually blocked out of the parks. This is like the heart right now of spring break season, like the week leading up to Easter. So parks have been crazy, but you know, we wanted to come over and have a fun Disney Easter day. And specifically, I have really been wanting to get over to the beach club because you'll remember at the beginning of the season, we had looked at the Easter eggs at Grand Floridian. They also do an Easter display at Disney's beach club resort. So that is what we are gonna check out today. And I'm excited. Parked here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. You can kind of see the crowds going in there. It's definitely a busy day. And we're all gonna go ahead and take the Skyliner over to Caribbean beach first. Then we'll go to the Epcot station to get to the Epcot resorts, including the beach club. We contemplated, you can actually even walk from the Hollywood Studios parking lot over to the boardwalk and then the beach club, like all those resorts. But if you know me and my family, we love specifically the Joffrey's Toffee Flight. Hence why we're taking the Skyliner to go over to Caribbean Beach where they have the one and only Joffrey's Toffee Flight. Yeah, mom and dad are both with me today. Here's dad. Are you ready to go see? You didn't get to I see am, yet no. the Grand Floridian eggs. So we're gonna not. see the Easter eggs over here. And mom, you have seen the yes, Grand Egg Yeah, yeah. yeah. we excited to see now. Yeah. Or Beach Club. Yacht Beach Club. That's yeah. the, I think that's the only other resort that has eggs. But we'll say, take a little, you know, stroll. We'll check them all out, see if there's any Easter happenings going on. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Thank you for flying with us. So now we're at Caribbean Beach Resort. So this is like the hub station, if you're not familiar with Skyliner. So you come here and then you can go to Art Animation and Pop Century, or you can go on to Riviera and then on to Epcot. And here it is, our favorite Joffrey's cart, because this one is the one that is home to the Toffee Flight. I love it so much. Leave in the comments, are you, when you're in the parks, Team Joffrey's or Team Starbucks? I will always go to a Joffrey's if I have the chance to get to a Joffrey's. Nothing against Starbucks. I like a Starbucks too, but I feel like their coffee at Joffrey's is just sweeter. Oh yeah, they made a good batch today. So this is the toffee plate. They're basically like, um, what's the Butterfingers. coffee? Butterfingers, thank you. Yeah, like toffee pieces on top. Mom got hers iced. Me and dad both went for frozen. They can sometimes do the frozen for you. It mostly comes in the iced or hot variety, but if you ask them sometimes, they can do it frozen, which is always nice. So. We got our toffee flight, back off to the Skyliner. We're on the Skyliner. It is like swaying right now. I don't usually get nervous up here. <laughs> but you're, you're a little like, ooh. No. We just shut the windows. That, you can always do that. But yeah, we were, the wind was whipping inside here. You can see Epcot and this, and that's where we're going. We're not going in Epcot today, but we're going to the Epcot resorts. We were just talking to the cast members. She said that, that Toffee Flight is her absolute favorite thing. You see, everyone loves the Toffee Flight. It's good. It's the only place you can get it on property. Mm -hmm. there. We're coming into Epcot. Of course, the wind stopped now that I started filming, but yeah, you can hear the wind is like whipping through here. Sometimes they have to shut the Skyliner down um, if it gets too windy, but apparently we're still okay. We're in that range. We hope. We hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. So we're coming into Epcot. I did have like a geek out moment back. Um, there's a certain section when you're going along, what is that road called? Buena Vista Drive, that you can look over and it's like this back area of backstage Epcot. They had all of the props for the front entrance display of Festival of the Arts. And they also had the um, front entrance display pieces for the Food and Wine Festival. And I'm like, why are they back there? Just like thrown out to pasture. It was the most interesting thing. I had never seen that before. I couldn't get my camera out in time. When we go back, I need to show you that. Whoa, that was quite the landing. But yeah, that was, everyone else think that was epic? Yeah. That, that was a really cool moment. They're waiting for the guy with the chainsaw and cut them all up. That'd be horrible. I'll take them. Just got off of the Skyliner, so that's where you can go into the International Gateway back entrance at Epcot. We're gonna turn this direction though, and we are going to the Epcot Resorts. This is where you can walk to um, Boardwalk, Yacht Club, Beach Club, and all the way down to Swan and Dolphin as well. This area is always so beautiful to walk around. And there's a doggy enjoying the shade. So cute. So first up we have Beach Club. 
I don't think there's anything specifically for Easter in Beach Club. I know Yacht Club's the one that has the display, but we're gonna still go in here and just see, see if there's anything going on. Oh my gosh, they did do some. Stop it, oh that's amazing. Yay. That is too cute. Oh, they kind of went with like the flower and garden festival theme because they have Chippendale Topiary is the first one here. Well, I'm so glad we decided to stop in here randomly. <laughs> We're like, let's just go see. Maybe they did something. And yeah, sure enough, full display. There's Chippendale. They have a Pixie Hollow house. Very cute. Look at the detail. Look at like the pine cones. I don't know if it's picking up. Little pine cones down there. Oh, this one's stunning. It's Mickey and Minnie Topiary. I like that they went with that as kind of a general theme, like the Flower and Garden Festival. That is really cool. Just look how it looks like moss on the outside. Like, what material did they use for that? That's so cool. It's like a sprinkle of some sort. That is so beautiful. I think this one might be my favorite. I still have to see the rest, but this is beautiful. Cherry Blossom and Nest. So cute. And then, yeah, this is really cool. It's the topiary that just premiered this year, Groot. Here we go. That is so cool. Oh, I can't get over it. Amazing. And then this one here, another Pixie Hollow house. And then what's this one? Oh my gosh, it's the Japan Pavilion. And they have the topiary dragon that they have in the lagoon. And look how it looks like a bonsai tree, like the pot that they would use with all the colorful, they used rock candy. This is so cool, I can't get over it. And then a floral butterfly pastry. Amazing, this is so cool. If you are looking to plan your next Disney vacation, I always recommend reaching out to my preferred travel agency, 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. Their team would be happy to help you. Every step of the travel process, you just get to relax and enjoy your vacation. Well, I'm so glad we stopped in there. We just left the beach club. We're gonna go down to the Yacht Club. That was the original one that we were like, they definitely have them at the Yacht Club. Or are we confused? Do they definitely have them here? I don't know. I don't know. We're now we're gonna out. see if there's any at the Yacht Club. Stay tuned. Where? We went to the Grand, but did um, Contemporary or Polynesian do any? I don't know. Maybe. We all have to try to make it Maybe over we'll there. Maybe we'll find out on Sunday. Maybe we'll find out on Sunday. We might have some Easter plans up that direction. There we go. But um, we have to do, I've done this with the last video. Leave a comment below when we did the Grand Floridian eggs. I said, leave a comment, what is your favorite egg that we saw? So let me know what you, so far, what do you think? And then mom and dad, do you guys have a favorite of what we just saw? I don't like the Japan one. That one was very yeah. intricate, yeah. I like the ones at the Marriott. <laughs> the ones at the Marriott? Yeah, in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. The scrambled eggs, they were good. <laughs> And I'm gonna say I really liked that Mickey and Minnie topiary, that one. That was just so intricate. The Japan one was also so intricate. It's so hard, they're all beautiful. They are so good, so amazing. One day, one day I want to stay here so I can get to check out this pool, for real. That would be amazing. This is one of the coolest pools on property. It's shared between the Yacht and the Beach Club. It's one of the most massive pools on property. It also has, you can see in the center there, a sand bottom and kind of like an island of made out of sand in the middle. So cool, so, so cool. I think just a few steps away is the Yacht Club. The Yacht Club's more the gray building and then Beach Club back there is the blue tone building. Okay, will they have eggs? Oh, I see a display. I see something. So they have them here too. They have the eggs. Oh, these ones are all like Moana, at least the first couple are, yeah, Moana themed. Look at this. So there's Shiny. What's his name, the crab? Oh, it says it right there. It starts with a T. I can't pronounce that. But yeah, he, he sings the song Shiny in Moana. <laughs> Look at the amount of details, like the coins and Maui's hook that are attached to him there. And he's even holding the heart of Tahiti there. 
Oh, this one is so cool. Just look how they made the water. That is so much detail. And there's like a hidden Mickey in the white pearls there. Moana's boat, that is really cool. And then, oh, this one's stunning. It's the Stingray. That is beautiful. Let's see around this side. Oh, well, it's like the lava. This one even has lights on the inside. Shell on top. Just look how they make it look like wood. It just is amazing how they make the different textures. And then we have Pua. Yeah. This is cute that they're all in theme. They all did a different Moana character or theme from the movie. The coconut people. <laughs> They even have like a buoy over here. Do you see that? Just like a little additional. Oh, and in the middle, there's a starfish and a turtle. I didn't notice that. And then, oh, we have the village of Montanu. What? That's so cool. This one's hard to decide. I don't know what my favorite is. They're all so intricate. I do like that one, but I think my favorite from these has to be the one with her ship and the water. I just love the amount of detail, how they made it look like water. That is really cool. Yeah, this makes me so happy. I love that Disney is bringing more of these egg displays around property. Just the fact that they go all out for Easter now, it makes me very happy. I'd love for all the resorts to have like Easter decorations, maybe up for longer periods of time. It's so cool. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so mom and dad, what was your favorites from inside here? Um, I think I liked Moana's boat. The boat? The, the one boat. with the water? Yeah. That was my favorite too. I like that. I like that. that was my favorite too. There we go. All three favorite. Yep. It's a good one. This was cute. Good display. Nice Such a nice day, yes. Just chill out, exactly. When you see a rocking chair, sit down. <laughs> These resorts, this is such a nice area to just walk around. Now that we saw the eggs and everything, we're like, we're just relaxing, we're just having a stroll. And these resorts, this is a great spot just to come over. If you ever need like a little break from Epcot, just come out to the Epcot resorts. Stroll around, you can even take the boat over here. Let's see if they'll wave. Hello. <laughs> Dad's waving. They're not paying attention to us. go to the Swan and Dolphin Resorts because in years past I know they do Christmas chocolate displays in here so <laughs> this family's just having the best time of their life <laughs> we've been seeing them around <laughs> yeah so I'm curious if they have any like Easter displays at either the Swan or the Dolphin we just peeked inside the lobby nothing in the Swan or Dolphin it doesn't seem but we're gonna go over to Boardwalk I wonder if they've done anything here we go, over to the boardwalk. I have not seen anything online about them doing any type of Easter display, but you never know. You never know, we're gonna check it out. Think about it, this would be a great like thing to do, like just coming and doing a resort loop, kind of like we're doing today, going to beach club, yacht club, boardwalk over here. Even if it's not a holiday that you're looking at decorations or anything, just to enjoy the atmosphere, check out the shops, like they have food spots around here. Like this could be a very fun, day if you didn't have park ticket or something something to keep in mind like this would be a good like non-park disney day if you're here in the evening atlantic city dance hall this opens at 8 p.m it says right there thursday through sunday and this is a good time i've been here before for events very fun to check out there's also right here also in the evening this is open nightly 7 p.m to 1:45 in the morning this is the dueling pianos bar 
jelly rolls, very fun. I've actually never been in there, but I've always seen video of it online and it looks like such a good time. So that's like something I always say every time I'm over here, I'm like, oh, I should come do that. And can you believe I have not done that yet? So one day I will check that out. But yeah, there's a lot of things to do yeah. around this area. What do you, do you find? I've All never the seen this here. All food here is 100% fat free. See, it really? says so right on the side. I didn't even know they did food trucks. Did you know that? Over did here? Did you really read it? What's it say? Our food is... Fat free. They never charge for fat. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, that's blowing my mind. Did you see they have a food truck? No. I've never seen a food truck on the boardwalk. It's pretty cool. And yeah, with gift shops in mind, this shop up here, the Screen Door General Store, well actually, the Screen Door General Store is like the sundry spot. It's all connected, it's all one big store. But specifically right here, Thimbles and Threads. This is one of the best like Disney Resort gift shops on property. Mom just said it's her favorite resort gift shop on all the property. You can find stuff that sometimes you can't find other places. Yes, there was like times we were on vacations and we were specifically looking for a certain item. I think it's been typically like an Alex and Annie piece, something that was sold out in all other gift shops. But we've always had luck in here, in this little gift shop. So check it out. You never know what you'll find. If you're a Lily Vineyard Vines fan, they have a lot of the Lily, Tommy Bahama, Here's the backpack that I have in the blue color now. That is cute, very cute. I want them to come out with a new Disney Lily print. They've only had this print so far, but they've released it in the light blue base, and then they have this navy blue base. Mom just spotted this. It's a new arrival from Vera Bradley. It's a Belle collection. That's cute. They have just like a little bit of everything in this store. They have the jewelry. We always like to look at the jewelry pieces. They got clothing. Speaking of, I've never seen this shirt before. This gift shop, they just have different things inside here. Oh, what is this? You can get like a pre-made Easter basket. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Easter offerings. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, if you're here over Easter, you can pick up a little Easter basket to gift somebody. We're checking out the treats that they have. Look at the little bunny butt. That's adorable. How cool is that? Yeah, that shop is so cute. I'm gonna insert, we saw the cutest thing. They have currently, if you're into pin trading, I know some friends that love pin trading, they have a Easter basket that is a mystery pin trade and you open up the eggs. You get to pick two eggs out and then whatever pin is inside there, you have the option to trade for it if you want. That's so cool. I like seeing when they have different creative things like that. That's the thing, I would like to get into pin trading, like for that purpose. We could do like pin trading vlogs, that'd be fun to just go around and see the different displays. Kind of gives you another reason to do resort hopping, you know, and checking out different little gift shops, different things. Oh, we haven't been in here in forever. This was closed for a while. We just went in there, that was amazing. They have so many of the pieces from artists that are usually at the Festival of the Arts. So make sure to stop in there. That was closed for a while. I'm happy that's reopened. And yeah, up here is now going to be the boardwalk lobby. I have a feeling, because they usually always do something for Christmas. I'm hoping that this year they did something for Easter. Let's see. I'm hopeful. We're going to see something. We do not have any eggs in the boardwalk. It's such a nice lobby though. It's been a while since I've been in here. Oh look, they're advertising that they can make up little Easter baskets that you can get pre-made. Let's go look in this gift shop. I don't think I've been in this one since it reopened. Oh, it's a coffee bar. I forgot about this. It's not a gift shop, the Carousel Coffee, just here off the main lobby. That's cool. This is really cute, little coffee shop. Look at this, they have a tiny table in here you can sit. It's cute. We just had our Joffrey's, but yeah, sometime we'll have to check that out. I forgot they made that like a little grab and go and coffee shop. Yeah, it's original, original Disneyland. 
we're coming up with our plan of what we're gonna do for our lunch. I think we're gonna get back on the Skyliner and we might stop at the quick service that is at Caribbean Beach because we have to go back that way anyway to get back to our car studios and yeah, we'll keep the resort hopping going. We're gonna do Caribbean Beach resort hop. We may actually get off at Riviera because I think that might be quicker to walk from the Riviera station. Um, it might be quicker to walk from the Riviera station over to the lobby area, the food court. The cake bake, this has been under construction for a while. They've redone most of the outside. They still, it's just the shell. They gotta get all the exterior work done. But it's coming along. They don't have a date on it anymore. It used to always say May of 2023, right? And that got taken away. Now we don't know when it will open. I remember I was looking forward to it for my birthday last year. I thought that I'm going to go there. Yeah. That's where I want to go. And a whole year has come and gone, and May will be here before you know it. I don't think it's going to make it this year. Gonna make it this year no. <laughs> They're currently working on it. You can hear them back there. But yeah, that's just like been one that's taken forever. Days like this are very relaxing. It's a good time. Back we go on the Skyliner. It's been a Skyliner resort hopping day. We were just talking about, this is where we saw that snake that one time. We were looking for him today. We didn't see him. We're back on the Skyliner. I want to try to show you, I'm sitting on this side to show you what I witnessed when we were coming in of the front entrance display Ooh, festival graveyard, basically. You don't know how excited I get about things like this. I just think this is the coolest thing ever. But yeah, for some wayfinding, there's the boardwalk. We just came from Epcot, back that direction. And yeah, you can kind of see like all of this is some backstage areas like specifically back there is cast parking epcot resort cast parking and yeah it's like on this road up here is buena vista drive so it's on buena vista drive over on this side oh yeah i can see them from here we'll get a good angle once we turn though mom just spotted a whole turtle family in this little pond this is the joys of riding the Skyliner. We get to see animals, wildlife, and Epcot prop graveyard. It's very fun. So yeah, here we go. We're on the stretch heading towards Riviera. It's gonna be right, if you're coming this direction towards Riviera, it's on the left-hand side. You can see the rainbows up there from the Festival of the Arts. So there's World Showcase right there. You can actually see all the backs of the countries. There's Spaceship Earth. So there's this random parking lot right here that's like backstage. And yeah, just through these trees here, you can see, look at this. We're gonna see it in a second. Look at this. Those are the paint tubes and the rainbows from Festival of the Arts. And they have the food and wine displays right there. That is so wild. In just a few moments, we will be arriving. What are they doing Disney with it? Riviera I need answers. A Disney vacation club. We just got off the Skyliner here at Riviera. We actually think it might be specifically to get to the quick service that's at Caribbean Beach. I think that's where we're going to head to. Um, it might actually be quicker to walk from here because over there you have to kind of backtrack if you get off at the Caribbean Beach station, backtrack, go across the bridge. Yeah, with the Skyliner station here, there's actually, sometimes they give that tip if you're staying at, I think this is Aruba down here, the one section of Caribbean Beach, you're actually closer to your particular room if you get off, yeah, in that pink building as well, that might be Aruba, you're actually closer if you get off at the Riviera stop than the official Caribbean Beach stop. It is nice being back here. I have not been, I don't think I've been back over here to Riviera since we stayed here back last year. Such a beautiful resort. That was such a memorable, memorable night getting to stay here. I just said, I haven't been back here since we stayed here. You guys probably too, yeah. said the same thing, this is where we stayed. Yeah, that was so special. 
And we were in this pool here. That was so relaxing. On that shuffleboard board. <laughs> Here's the walking path from Riviera. Just a little round the crest here. And we're already at the first Caribbean beach set of buildings. And then Old Port Royal is like the next one up. It's like right there where that lighthouse is. And here we are, we're saying, we don't know, they're probably equal distance. If you're specifically trying to get to the food court and stuff over here, it's probably equal distance. We'll go the other way back and see how we feel. <laughs> Oh, they have fun crafts out here. That's awesome. Oh, it's shell painting for $8. That's adorable. Okay, let's go get some food. And here is our quick service food. Me and mom both got, this is actually a kid's meal. Can you believe this is a kid's meal? It comes with two really nice, were they fish tacos? Yeah, they're fish. It's like a mahi-mahi. We've had this before. Amazing, it's so good. And then dad got this pulled pork sandwich which has a really good slaw on top. Yeah, we will enjoy this. We just had a very nice lunch that we're walking around Caribbean Beach. We're taking the other path back towards the Skyliner. But look at this family of turtles that's here in the water. Look at that guy climbing up on the log. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. It's a whole turtle family. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, he's swimming over to the other log now. He's like, yep, no, we're trying this one. They're so cute. I could watch this all day. Caribbean Beach is a beautiful resort to just come do resort hopping, just walk around. There's so many nice little hidden pathways. This whole center area here, you can just kind of keep exploring. They have a play area for kids. It's very peaceful to walk down these paths. So yeah, if you ever, this is another thing you could do on a resort hopping day. Get the Skyliner here to Caribbean Beach and just walk around, do like we did, go get some food at the quick service, get a dessert or something. Just enjoy a stroll. Do we need another Joffrey's? Probably not. <laughs> I think we're good with one a day. They are amazing though. If you were doing like a full park open and park close day, then yeah, you definitely need more than one Joffrey's a day, but we're getting ready to head home. I think we're good. <laughs> we are back now at Hollywood Studios. This was a fun resort hopping day. Beautiful day, yeah. You guys will be back, not blocked out of the parks soon, and we'll be back in yeah. action in the yeah. parks, but yeah, we have some fun plans for Easter. We're gonna be doing like some resort hopping Easter things for actual Easter day coming up soon. But yeah, this was nice, nice surprise to see more decorations I think than we thought we were gonna see. Yeah, so that was good. Really, really uh, creative ones. Yes, they were very, very good. I like the themes of their displays and everything. But for now, we're gonna end the video. So thank you guys for watching. And with that, make today magical and we'll see Bye. you soon. Bye. Bye.